The wheelie has to be the most iconic trick that can be done in two wheels. Any country, any person, any bike, who doesn't want to be able to do a wheelie? Danny, do a wheelie! I thought, wouldn't it be really cool to make a film that celebrated wheelies? So we put a shout out on Instagram. All right, folks, Danny here. What we're looking for is your best, most creative wheelie. We got an amazing response. You really, from people just doing some of the craziest things. I thought for this film, it'd be really good to actually collaborate with folk that can actually wheelie much better than I can. <laughs> Madness! Mad Shows some of the best writers. We also find some of the best wheelie artists from around the world to come and hang out in Glasgow and be part of the film. Around the world, there's tons of scenes that are built up completely around doing wheelies. One really cool scene that's risen in the last five to 10 years is the kind of street culture of young riders going out in the streets and wheeling wherever they want. For me, it was really cool to have them involved in this project just because they're skilled. I can do steps, knee knock, combos. You can do all types of crazy stuff. When people ride a bike, you just see them raging on the road, just going at speed, like, you know what I mean? But we're just cruising. <laughs> The biggest, the weirdest character of the group has to be Little Spartan. I do it because it's different and like I'm free. It helps me get like out of my mind. Like if I've had a bad day at school, I'll just jump on my bike and then I'll feel good again. I mean, amazing skills or just his chat was just so funny. Gonna not do that. He's having a wee now. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> Then we had Naomi, who was one of the newest riders to the crew. I learned to wheelie pedal bikes at the beginning of lockdown. It was like my lockdown project. <laughs> lockdown, first three weeks, every single day, car park, two hours, three hours. I can do it now. Then we've got Sender Brad, who's been around in the wheelie scene for a long time. I'm going to take Mr McCaskill's front wheel off. Yeah, yeah I clearly need yeah. that. <laughs> Brad was doing some of the wildest variations. And the last rider was RJ, who I would say had some of the most solid skills out of the crew. You know, his swerves were second to none. Shoo! Oh my god. And yeah, I'll swerve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your toes are right. <laughs> I just, felt, I just felt my wheel go. A bit, a bit of speed bump. Are we speed bump on the road? Just a little accident. Get to lie down. Yeah. I've been getting pretty schooled at how to wheelie, so I've got some stuff to learn. One of the scenes in the film was where I was wheeling towards the London crew as they're wheeling towards me and they were swerve right in front of me and then I high five Naomi, which is uh, quite a tricky one to pull off, you know. I just had to trust their skills. Well, we're just gonna come across and just, just do madness in front of him. I just and now we gotta go! go. See you later! I'm usually the one that's in control of hitting people, so it's a weird feeling for me just trying to just keep it straight and then letting them do their thing around me. RJ just swerving right in between the two of us. Very cool move. I tried practicing a little bit for this, but I don't think I've got the hips for it. <laughs> Yo. Hey. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. I got so close in that. that was yeah, that was cool. Cool. Nice. Oh. I think for me, the reason the wheelie is so iconic is just that feeling that you get when you're a kid and you see someone do one for the first time, you know, the older kid in your village, and it, you know that that's what you aspire to be able to do in your life. Woo! Cheers to work. Home.
So I thought it'd be really cool to try to put my own twist or my own sort of riding style into my own wheelies and combine a little bit of trials moves. It was really just finding locations that suited the riding first. They're moving the whole way. That's sick. Yeah. It wouldn't be a wheelie video without getting some kids involved. One of the whole points of making this film is that hopefully kids are going to watch it and be inspired to go out and try doing some wheelies for themselves. We had the awesome Dexter there with his balance bike and then he was going to wheelie with me, sort of kind of out at the end of the shots. Oh, man. Yeah, that was good. Daddy, all right. <laughs> Takes her high. Treats are in the firing line. Woo. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> are you okay? No, we're fine. Highly impressed how relaxed everyone is, you know. Cakes. Cakes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. Yo. Artistic cycling has to be one of the most incredible forms of trickery, sorcery that goes on on two wheels, if I'm honest. I mean, they can just do the most amazing things. It's just mind-blowing. So today we are here in Jupiter Artland. We've got Viola, world-renowned artistic cyclist from Germany over. And yeah, she's kind of showing us her skill. I started artistic cycling at the age of uh, six. There was a club in our village and yeah, they had artistic cycling as an official competitive sport and so now I'm here. But I think some pirouettes and spinnings, wheelies of course, I mean we're here for doing wheelies so I will do wheelies. <laughs> Three, two, one, action. That is really cool. To be honest, how do you react to somebody doing a, a wheelie with the bike upside down, holding the front wheel. I don't know, it's pretty amazing stuff. I'm struggling just to do a regular wheelie while she's just doing it perfectly every time, so. That's so cool. Let me practice my wheelies first. Yeah. yeah. It's always fun getting on different types of bike. This has got to be one of the most unusual ones I've been on for a while, I think. It's quite extreme. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when you watch folk with skills doing a certain trick and they, they make it look very easy. And you kind of think sometimes that it's to do with the equipment. But uh, I can tell you after having a shot of Viola's bike, it is very difficult to ride. Yes, it is. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, but this was good. <laughs> Made it all the more impressive. Uh, there we go. Slams when you're working with trained professionals. Everything went so well. So I'm really, really happy that I was part of this whole project. I'm really thankful. I think my first memories of trying to do a wheelie was in my garden when I was about four or five. I don't think I mastered the wheelie until I was around about nine or 10 years old. Around that time, I used to also use toe straps. So there's many a time where I would flip off the back, not get my feet down and just 
landed my bum in the street. <laughs> Whoa, but uh, a trials rider who inspired me to go out there and do wheelies myself up in the sky was Hans Ray. I mean, we couldn't make a wheelie film without Hans Ray, really. I mean, he is the wheelie. <laughs> I mean, what can I say about Hans? I mean, Hans Ray has been one of my heroes ever since I first opened up a mountain bike magazine. He was the person that I watched in uh, some of his early films, doing trials that got me into riding trials back in the sort of mid to late 90s. I mean, he is the legend of legends in mountain biking. You know, he has been there and done it all. <laughs> Rolling. Well, a wheelie is probably the most iconic bike trick out there. You know, everybody has tried to do one at least or wants to do it. And it's funny because sometimes there's World Cup racers who don't know how to do a wheelie, but then you go to the corner store and there's kids who can ride for miles. and. It's literally one of those things you have to put the time in to learn them. There's a lot of things that come together when you do a wheelie. And I think, yeah, it's probably the most iconic bike trick out there. That and the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> probably seen hundreds of pictures of Hans doing the Statue of Liberty around the world. Yeah, that's definitely been his moneymaker over the years, that's for sure. Well, actually, I don't think I really invented it. I think I've seen some BMX freestyler do it back in the days. But um, I think I might have came up with the name and I might have called it Statue of Liberty because it reminded me of a Statue of Liberty, you know. We used to incorporate it in all the trial shows and people always remember that move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's him. Oh, it's him doing the pedal. Do you want a hand? Do you want a big one? No, we're good. Oh. And, then we, and then ride the wheelie. I think it'll and then go. And then it's a wheelie. It goes, yeah. Oh, my God. Is this going to be getting back on? Put it in there. <laughs> it goes like this, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. It's been awesome. Had a good time. Basically, just getting to just wheelie about the place with Hans Ray. Doesn't really get much better than that. It's been fun to pull some wheelies and it's an honor for me to have a little little part in one of your films and at least I didn't have to be like flown in a helicopter off the mountain. <laughs>
probably been a few thousand miles of wheelies pulled for this film, I reckon. Yeah, my front tire is like brand new. Rear tire is almost worn down. <laughs> that tells the story. Man, the fixie man, here you go. It was really cool to see the respect that all the riders had for one another, all their different skills, and it was the first time all the riders were going to get to meet each other, so it was just a really good vibe. I've never seen that in real life. That is mad. Like, that is actually crazy. She has immense control of her bike. But at the end of this, I'll actually be able to wheelie really properly, I reckon. Mark, this is perfect for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had an absolute blast getting to meet and ride with such cool characters from around the world. There was one trick in particular that I had in my sights. The front flip. <laughs> Trying to wheelie into a trick and do a front flip and then try to land into a wheelie was definitely a goal that I set for myself in this project. Turned out it was actually really quite difficult. We've got a fake deck. We looked all over the country for a good deck and couldn't find the right one, so we built one in a garden. The uh, sort of wheelie to front flip is a relatively straightforward thing. You just need like a high enough drop to make it round, but the hard part is actually controlling the energy and uh, landing and get, getting away from it. It was just physically a really tricky trick to kind of work out. It's kind of like the backwards roll or something like that, you know, where I don't actually know it's like whether or not you can do the trick. You all right? Yeah, fine. Yo! Yeah. Well, I actually felt like I was expecting. Ready? <laughs> I was really pleased. We put a lot of time and effort into it, and uh, it's just been a great time celebrating the wheelie.